Hey buddies, it's your girl Christine, and we are continuing our journey. Yes, our journey to find a satisfying video. A video that we watch it and it makes us feel satisfied or wowed or amazed. Because the last few videos that I've been checking out have been straight up crap. I'll say that. Because woodwork, it, carbon wood ain't relaxing. And pouring hot stuff on stuff is not relaxing. For me. For me. This right here is Blooming Colors. Abstract Painting. Landscape Satisfying demonstration. Project 365 days. Day hashtag 0330. By mm, Siraj Fine Arts dash abstract art. That was a lot of words, my friend. That title is too long. <laughs> Some of these should be tagged. Actually, I think all of these should be tagged. Blue and Color should have just been the name. Nonetheless, that ain't my video. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Will I get satisfied? I'll never be satisfied. You'll never be satisfied. Okay, so we've got the paint that he's putting out, and I'm guessing this is. Is this oil paint? Or is this acrylic? I'm trying to see. Alright, so looks kind of. Okay, well, you've got the paintbrush. I was gonna say it looks kind of like toothpaste. This ish makes me want to paint, bruh. Oh, I love the way that the paint is just going across the page. Oh, that that paintbrush is so cute! I didn't know it was, like, I thought he was holding a part of a paintbrush. I didn't know that was the whole thing. It is super adorable. And what he did was smart. Coloring, not coloring, painting in, blending in the lighter color first on the top and the bottom, and then going in with the darker colors. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I like the sight that I'm seeing. I'm not getting the sense of satisfaction. Well, I am a little bit. My back is relaxing a little bit. But I'm interested in the statement of blooming colors. All right. Okay. Wait, why'd he do that little smush thing first? I have questions. All right, so we've got white just being spackled in in some places. It does help with the blending. Oh, okay, a lot more white. Mixing that in. Okay. All right, we've got, we're spackling some blue. I hope we're gonna see an actual art piece at the end and not just, hey, I'm just gonna do all this stuff to this canvas, just smush, 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 wipe, 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 brush, brush, brush. What, I'm interested in what these spikes are supposed to be. Okay, and he's, back on. I've never used the tool, uh, any of my artists, all my artists out there um, that are checking out this video, have you used the tool and how was it for you? Okay. And those spikes he's putting in yellow. I'm very interested in what, what what's going to be uncovered here, though. I am. He's putting yellow in there. At first, I thought this was underwater. Well, maybe it is underwater. I don't know if I... I think I might see... Is that underwater? Because the top kind of does have a blurry effect. Like, as if it is, like, you're looking from underwater up and how the water refracts the sky and the um, sun and stuff. You heard that word refract? Y'all didn't think I knew that word. I know that word. I, okay, I don't get the, what's happening here at the bottom here. Unless these are uh, plant life, underwater plant life. Maybe. I'm gonna say yes. We just haven't seen all of it. All right, so we've got different types of yellows and greens, excuse me, that he's putting in here. I'm saying he, 
this could be a she. I don't. I don't even know. That they. I know pronouns. Pronouns. I can't say the word, but I know what it means. <laughs> they are using. Okay. All right. So we've got. Is this like more of an orange going in here? Um. The only thing I can clearly see as a possibility of what we're going to see at the end of this is the sky being like reflect, refracted. But the, the rest of this is very abstract and I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it yet. I'm trying to see what type of paint this is though. I was thinking oil, but I, now I'm thinking it's acrylic because it's drying on parts of the thing. Acrylic dries a lot faster than oil paint. Oil paint could take literal days. I know for this from experience. Okay, we've got some pinks in here. The pinks look really pretty. And I wanna know like, did this person come in with the plan of this is exactly what I'm gonna do? Or is this something that just unfolded when they just was like, hey, I'm just gonna grab grab some random paint and then explore and then these things just kind of came out. Cause that's more so how I paint. Rare, ti rare times do I go in painting with an idea and a plan. Sometimes when I go to paint, I just grab some paint, paint and then just feel where it leads me. I like the colors though. That paint really brings everything together. <clears throat> All right, so we're splatting some pink on there. All right, splattering more pink, even on the bottom. And then, okay, splattering some yellow. <laughs> and splattering some more yellow, okay. Is that... I think this is a different type of yellow, like more of a gold. Cause they did use a lot of different color types of yellow and um, gold and things. And the, you know, the orange and the yellow and the green. Okay. I see the curve, not the curves, I see the lines and the paint. Is it like moving? Or is that like, is it moving? Or it might've been just a effect. I mean, okay, so, the let's go back to that really quick. Okay, the artwork is beautiful. It's like very vibrant and very colorful. Um, it is abstract, that was not a lie. And the landscape, I guess I could see it's like underwater type of thing. Um, I wouldn't say like when the, first, when the painting started, I did feel like satisfaction. My back started to relax and I was just enjoying the brush you know, stroking the paint against the canvas. I think that's just such a beautiful thing. Whenever anyone's starting any painting, it can be very, like, beautiful, you know? When the when the spackle thing came out and we were cutting lines, not cutting lines, but like kind of scoring the painting by doing that, um, and then uh, adding the colors, I was more confused. This is an abstract painting, so it being abstract is completely fine, you know? I What I was hoping was that it was one of those things that you you can't see it at the beginning, but when it's done, you can see it, and you can, you're like, wow, mind blown. And this wasn't that for me. That doesn't mean it's bad, it is good, but I just came in expecting certain things, and it turned out to be different than what I expected, that's all. But um, it is a pretty painting, and this video still did motivate me to just grab a canvas and just paint. Maybe that's what I could do it. I could just do like a little um, stream somewhere on something and just paint, just chat and paint. You know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. I think, like, I love the colors. Pink really just brought everything together for me. 
Um, yeah, it did. I don't know if without the pink, if I would still be that drawn in. I'm serious. I think that the pink really brought in a extra color that I really like. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. How'd you feel? What did you feel satisfied by, by the video? What is that spackle tool thing called? Maybe I said it right. Maybe I didn't. Let me know. Do you use it as an artist? And then what does this painting look like to you? What does it speak to you um, or say to you? If you like the video, check out the link in the description box below to support the artist, which is, let's go back here. Yeah, Siraj Fine Arts. Um, down below in the comment in the description box. If you like this video, hug the life out of that like button. I love you guys as always, and until next time, buddies. Toodles.